Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Fight number eight of the evening. Three by three minute rounds. Proudly brought to us by King's Footlong. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Last night weighing in at 71.2 kilograms. He has a fight record of 19 fights for 12 wins. Five coming by way of knockout. Train out of the urban fight gym with Richard Walsh in the corner and representing the Gold Coast, Nick B2 Browning. And now, Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Last night, weighing in at 70 kilograms, even. He possesses a fight record of 21 fights, 19 wins, three coming by way of knockout. He is trained out of five ball gym with Brendan Barasic in his corner, representing the Gold Coast, Fire Samoa. What crew boy? Well, here's the tail of the tape, and he's only 21 years of age, and as I mentioned, one of the hottest prospects in Australian Muay Thai at one point. Albert Baby Yotua, 21 fights. Interesting to note, he's gone up to 70 kilos now. He was fighting around 63 back when he was moving around. But taking on, of course, the 31-year-old Nick Browning. Browning out of Urban Muay Thai, 19 fights. He'll be well-rounded. He's a pressure fighter with strong Muay Thai style Browning. And this one, Daddy Cool, is going to be something special. And big punches will be thrown, now doubt, from the opening bell. Yeah, definitely the, uh, the return of Baby Yodi. He's had a baby himself. Had a couple of years off, uh, felt the itch again, put on a bit of size, but um, if he's that big and, and as elusive and as skillful as he was at the lighter weight, it's going to be a tough night here for Nick Browning. Richard Walsh, of course, in the corner there, Browning. And, of course, Walsh, a long-time trainer of Nathan Carnage Corbett. Achieved greatness, the two of them. The Carnage, these days, based over in the United States. A big hello to Nathan, if he's watching. The kings of Australian Muay Thai. The Carnage, trained by Richard Walsh. That one, here we go. Will Yod had that elusive style and slick move that he did prior to uh, his hiatus. 21 fights, 19 wins. That's testament to Albert Tua's skill. KG Southpaw. Yeah, very elusive, very fast on his feet. Whereas Browning likes to charge his opponent down. Very tough customer. So contrast the styles. Bigger weight. You see Browning, like I said, just charging. Browning, 31 years of age, 10 years the senior. He's had uh, mixed fortunes in his last three, two wins, one loss. Browning coming off a window. He's doing a good job. He's, he's not giving or too much time to think. He's chopping away at those legs. You see Tua just getting comfy. The more that he settles in, the more dangerous he'll get, Hammer. Yeah, it's good to see Tua back. He's had a, he's had a long break, so it's going to be interesting to see Ooh. if uh, that ring rust is there. Or he's going to get back straight back to business where he left off in the lighter weight division. He's got a very dangerous... High kicks, Albert Tua. As you see, Browning just wearing a rock, left hand. Comes back with his own, bit low. 
but for that, in, and that always happens with oppo opposing stances, doesn't it? That inside thigh kick often strays a little north. Tua getting that rear left round kick easily up to the head there, Browning. I think Browning needs to fake a little bit more rather than just marching to trying to march Tua down. Just, Tua's great off his back foot. Yeah, he switches stance. He, very, very good counter fight. But as we see, him, never in danger. Very sharp eye. Dry Q is very above his uh, experience. It's that high kick again, Hammer. Oh, turning, jumping round kick. Putting on a show. Albertua here for the big crowd support he has on hand. Browning getting frustrated by the movement of Tua. He, he sees everything coming. Yeah, he sees a nice elbow there. Big body kick. Very dangerous fighter. Straight left hand to, to right round kick. Or oh, spinning heel kick. Browning showing he's got some slick moves of his own to end the first round. He's here to three. fight. We have a fight, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely. Albertour perhaps a little ahead on the scorecard after that first daddy call. Yeah, I think he, he he got some good shots in, very, very crafty, but um, as we see in the replay, left hand, low kick, he's on the balls of his foot the whole time, Hammer, he's always looking, you see very, very sharp, and Browning, he'll just be doing the same thing all day, get here close, try and crush those big heavy hands he's got, and get some good kicks of his own. From side kick to the turning, spinning, jumping round kick. And like I said, the, the more confidence Albert gets, the more dangerous he will get for Browning. So he's just got to keep his guard up, lifting his knees, trying to give him no room to move. Albertua making some highlight real moments in the first round. What will he do in the second? Browning comes forward with the pressure again. Big left hook. A tangle above the commentary position. Tua will look to shut him down. And he's liking the, the clinch Browning. He, he's, yeah. he's the bigger, naturally bigger. This is his weight, you know, this is his weight division. He doesn't mind grabbing on and locking horns. The height and reach advantage, obviously, going to the blue corner. Nicky Browning. Looking to do some damage. Demolition is Browning with that body kick. A big thank you to Gumdale Demolition. Speaking of Demolition, Daddy Cool. Tricky Trevor and the team. Big thank you. And also the team at Concrete Genie. Steve Wojenko and all the boys. Punish fight here. Kings Footlong. Some of the great sponsors here. Supporting Eruption and Paul Demicoli and the team. Great to see here for Browning. He's just stripped it right back oh. to basics. Single shots. As you said before, Hammer, a little faint. If he gets away, he doesn't panic. Just charges him down there. Taking the skills away from, from Tua. Oh, oh, have a look at that. As I said, making highlight real moments. Is in the business of doing Albert Tua, and he's doing it here tonight. Circles away, puts himself into the red corner. Uses that push kick as a barrier. Browning having none of it though. The tough Nick Browning. And just basics again. Yeah, trying to channel the carnage Nathan Corbin fight style. A walk forward and do damage. Richard Walsh. In the corner of Browning. Urban Muay Thai team have been on the coast for a long Ooh. time and produced fighters of great renown. And tonight, it's Browning's turn to try and upset the reboot of Albertua here tonight. Just whistle bunch straight over the top of the cranium. And again. And again. Tua. He's got the moves to get away from those big Ooh. shots. Big shot there. The cranium cracking. Trying to crack the skull of Tua with the Ooh. downward elbow. Stalks forward again, Browning. Given to a nothing. Oh, he's oh, oh. him. Oh, and a head kick to boot. That's Tua all over. over. What a... 
and the crowd have gone absolutely bananas. The return, the reboot of the Albert Baby on Tua. Just when things were going not bad for Nick Browning. It was a just one of those moments that he called. Yeah, beautiful uh, left hand. Just when we thought that the, the work ethic and was slowing down a little bit, Albert, just at the back end of that round, bang, very, very dangerous. Caught Browning with the right hand and then charging across the ring, gets him with the kick in the end. He was doing it, he was doing okay. He was doing the right, all the right things there. Just that slimmest of uh, the push kick to the face rattled him. Absolutely, it was, and that was so fast and so accurate, that push kick to the face. Yeah. Anderson Silva like it was, wasn't it? Definitely, there's and a then, looping left and then ball. And then, and then the shin across the face. Like a sniper, he took full opportunity of the opening and nailed it. Bang. Over Albert the top, Tua. boom. There it was, saw him wobbled. Shin the face, highlight real moment created once again by Albert Tua. Baby Yod, good to see him back. And as damaging as ever. Old one, Crack. two, kangaroo and boom, straight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, at two minutes and 31 seconds into round number two, your referees put a stop to this bout, declaring your winner by knockout. Baby Yod, Albert Tua. Wow, well, what a finish. Just has a smile on Tua. He's glad the pressure's off now and he's back. Definitely big support here, as always, for Absolutely. Baby Yod. But uh, they got what they want. We've got to say, uh, Paul Demacoli, great job in getting him back in the ring. One of the favourites of Aussie Muay Thai. Once touted, you know, the standout up-and-coming fighter of the whole country and uh, tonight I think we've seen why bigger weight division he's put on a bit of beef and he's back doing more damage with that extra weight Albertua and the team they're happy the fight world